Hey guys, so this is the compete program for Wednesday 24th of August. Main priority for today's session is gonna be this skill strength piece that you've got at the start there. So we've got a rope climb variation, 10 plus 10 pistols, and then three heavy deadlifts. So the main thing I want you to think about with this is going, don't go into this with a Metcon mindset, okay? You're not racing through these sets as if it was for time. You're going into this with a strength mindset. So we're trying to develop strength choose the hardest variation you can of a rope climb. So you'll see we have all the variations there. The hardest one being that L sit legless all the way up and all the way down. And then we have scaling all the way down to a regular pull up with some strict pull ups as a buy into that. Okay, so choosing the hardest variation you can for the rope climb, that can alter um, from set to set. You'll go into those pistols, trying to hit those for quality. We're gonna use the game standard where you're on the one leg trying not to touch the opposite leg down to the ground. And then when you go into three deadlifts based off your training max. So just to clarify guys, with the training max, that is not the heaviest lift you've ever done in training. It is the lift that you could do every training session. Okay, so for example, I'm gonna take myself as an example, my all time max deadlift I did in training and that was 250 kilos but I have 220 kilos in my training max in the fitter program. And that is because that is a number, I think I could come into the gym almost every day, feeling super sore, a bit beat up. I think I could still pull 220 as a max that day. So we wanna limit the percentage work by working off that training max a little bit. You're still gonna get a really heavy stimulus, but you're not gonna be basing your percentage work off a lift you did that you wouldn't be able to do on every single training day. The next thing we have to focus on in this session is the, uh, is the Metcon. So we have that 20 minute AMRAP of 400 meter run. You've got the farmer's walk with the dumbbells and then straight into the bar muscle ups. So this is essentially five rounds of four minutes work. You always start a new four minute block so on 0, 4, 8, 12, and 16, you'll start the run. You'll pick up your dumbbells. It would be great if you could go outside for this and walk 25 and 25, or if you have a massive gym and you can do 25 meters and 25 meters back. And ideally finishing quite close to the rig. I know that's a lot of ideally, but trying to set this up in a way with as little transitions as possible. So you get that long farmer's walk in, and then you AMRAP bar muscle ups until the next four minute block starts. So all levels who have muscle ups can attempt this. If you are really great at muscle ups, then definitely save a little bit in the tank. Don't go too hard at the start and try to be quite consistent through your rounds. And if you're not so great at muscle ups, it's basically trying to accumulate as many as you can in whatever time you have remaining. If you don't have muscle ups, you're gonna do burpee pull ups today. So you still get that push pull kind of stimulus. We're not necessarily trying to do a skill scaling today. It's more of a uh, effort scaling and that burpee pull up will, will allow you to keep working at a similar effort level to those that are doing bar muscle ups and keep working hard through that whole 20 minute. So those are the two main focus points of today's session. You'll notice on the bar muscle up portion, there is a leaderboard attached. So if you wanna get your bar muscle up reps onto that leaderboard, you can do that and check out what the rest of the squad is doing. Enjoy today's training.